Brother Chani here with SportsCar.com with Bellator middleweight champion Hector Lombard coming off a big win at Bellator 44. How are you doing, man? I'm um, pretty good. I'm <laughs> happy. <laughs> you didn't seem very happy at the press conference. You kind of kind of pissed off. I, I, I asked, yeah. asked your, your boss and your good friend Bjorn Redney, and I, I asked him, I said, is the criticism towards Hector Lombard warranted? He said no. So, do you want to tell people at home that are your critics why your criticism isn't warranted? Why, why you are eating a grand old boy? So we should, no, it's okay, man. It's good. It's all good. Well, you know, they, the thing is, like, you know, oh, I've always been criticized in the sport, you know. Uh, that's why I don't do interviews to anybody, because at the end of the day, you know, they always, you know, they always want to put me low, you know, and at the end of the day, I work hard, you know, I train hard. Before, I didn't, but now I, I'm working hard. So, if you are knocking out the guy in the first round, then people say shit. If, if you are knocking out the second, they talk shit. If you are knocking in the third round, it was a boring fight. So, you know, when I first met, I was sick, you know, and I still put him up the fight. And they say, it's a boring fight. So, they say, like, I can't stand with no, nobody, or my breathing sucks, or whatever. It's like, you can win. So kind of like, you know, I don't want to do interviews and, you know, I'll, you know, like... Well, we're really glad you're doing this interview. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so um, do you feel like you're a bit underappreciated by the media? What, just because you have been... I've always been industry. underappreciated, you know, the people that doesn't respect me and the, the people don't care about me. But I, I, I don't care about that. What I'm saying is, like, just leave me alone then. You know? Like, well, well, we care about you. I'm sure a lot of fans that are watching at home. Yeah. Um, I do care. So it's okay, man. And who's, I ask you on this as well, who's the better man on the planet right now? Hector Lombard or Joe Warren? I think he, he is, he's a better man than me, you know, whatever. You know, I'm kind of like, you know, I go with the flow. He's a better man than me. Right. Other than the eventual tournament winner, is there any dream opponent in mind that you'd love to fight, you know, in any organization? I don't know, I'm just gonna let Bjorn, you know, to the side and, you know, keep asking to be tough, tough openings. Um, you know, Brian Baker was telling me the whole tournament, he couldn't even make it to, you know, to the finals. So, I uh, really want to knock his ass out. Um, uh, who that was, uh, uh, Jeremy Holmes for, for the tournament, couldn't even make it. Um, uh, Joe Reed for, you know, this Joe, they couldn't even make it. So, you know, like, they're bringing big names, you know, they can't even make it, you know, to, they can't even make it, they can't even win a fight in Bellator. So, but then, then she's saying, like, you know, Bellator, that, that's nobody. So you're saying like Bellator as a whole in terms of talent is very underrated? Well, you know, Joe Reed is a very experienced fighter. He fought a lot of, you know, a lot of fights, he, you know, he beat Nick Diaz, etc., etc. But he can't even win a fight in Bellator, you know. Uh, so that, um, that gives Jeremy, Holmes, Jeremy Holmes and um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they can win a fight in Bellator, but you know, the the big names. So that says, that says something positive about the talent of Bellator, yourself and you know, all the other guys in the roster. I guess. Yeah. And where do you rank yourself amongst the, you know, the middleweights right now? You know, I personally rank the top 10 other guys and I say, oh no, it's Put it this way, put it this way. Before I forced him, man, you know, he was ranked uh, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the thing. I'm for him, and I still, you know, I, you know, my rank was even higher than his. So I don't know. I don't. I don't really care about that rank. Okay. I don't care about you know winning fight by fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus from there. Well, let's focus on the positive. How beneficial has American Top Team been to you in your American career? Uh, Conor Sibeda is being like a father to me. Uh, since I got there, he, he always took care of me. Uh, I, I can't be more grateful. You know, he's always been like a father. You know. And he's a guy who, you know, people should be recognizing and 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 do more and, 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 and do more interviews and, and about his life and, and be more interested about his life because he come from Brazil on his own and he did everything. You know, he fought in, you know, in a lot of he fought a lot of fights. He's a black belt, seven degree, jiu jitsu, etc., etc. And people doesn't even talk about him. It's depressing. Well. I guess your advice to young fighters would be to do what you do and just let your talk and do it, what yourself do to talk in the cage as opposed to online. Yeah, hey, uh, <clears throat> it's no point for me to talk at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, how much I talk and I don't deliver. I like to deliver and then, you know, we go from there. Well, fans, love your clips on YouTube. Anywhere they can find you online, the fans that, you know, aren't going to criticize you and, you know, do love your vicious knockouts. Uh, you got Facebook, you got Twitter, I got Facebook, and, uh, I got Twitter. Uh, I'll be in my website. It is uh, 
aka Lenny Lombard account here. Nice. So it should be done by, should be finished in about two weeks. Okay, so in a couple weeks, we'll all check that out. Yeah. Mike Lombard, thanks so much. Thank you so much for your performance. Best of luck and everything. And Thank you, hopefully, I'll see you next time. You'll be, you know, you'll be in a better mood, you know? Yeah. We'll take you down to the casino. Four in Vegas. I fought, um, what's the name? Like, no, no, the, the, the guy fought in Australia. In Australia. Joey Dawson. I fought in Australia, you know, I finished in, you know, a minute something, and the people were booing me. I'm like, what are you guys booing me for? Because it was, it was too short, the fight. But, you know, it's kind of like, you know, we. Hello. Well, you keep winning, man, so best of luck and everything. And, you know. Thank you. No problem. We'll take you out, we'll take you out somewhere. Right. Nice casinos here, you know.